hi everyone welcome back again to my channel i'm so sorry it's been a very long time i've been under the weather for some time but today i'm cooking my village soup yeah this is my village soup so if you know my name so you know the village i'm from anyway i've got all my ingredients here with me and um, this is my grilled beef i normally grill my beef and oxtail because of fat yeah so that is my um, grilled beef I've got my assorted meat which is the shaki and the roundabout I've got my vodo which is called chili pepper or bonnet or whatever it's called and then I've got my beef stock and then I've got my maggi I've got my crayfish you can see all the ingredients I've got ready for this my village soup I've got my stock fish as well just in case you're wondering you can put anything that you want you can put you can you can use fish or smoked turkey or turkey anything that you wish to use you can use it and then I've got the um, cow skin but this one is the boneless one it doesn't have the bone in it so yeah I'm so lucky to have this <laughs> I'm so happy anyways so I'm just gonna get right into it now and then we're gonna get started i've got palm oil so i'm i'm so sorry that my voice is like this i'm so sorry it's just that i've been under the weather as i said earlier on so i've got my onions as well and then i've got my melon which is the egusi so i know with this now you 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 um you now know the soup that i'm gonna prepare i'm so sorry that i'm like this so i'm talking like this i'm just so sorry just bear with me anyways so this is my melon why are you seeing the dry i put in some dry pepper just in case there's all this ant or whatever that is always in the melon so i'm so sorry i'm a very local girl <laughs> anyway i'm just i've just rinsed the melon now and i'm putting everything in the blender and um, i'm adding my roux dough and my onions so i'm just gonna blend that all together and then i'm gonna add a little bit of water it depends on how watery you want it to be but i don't want mine to be too watery i just want it to be um like a moderate mixture or whatever or paste or whatever so i'm just gonna blend that and then i've created my um, pot already so i'm just adding my palm oil into that and then i'm gonna mix it um oh my god i'm so sorry i'm gonna heat it up for like two minutes i'm gonna leave it on for like two minutes not so fry fry and then the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add my um my blended melon so you can see what i'm doing right now <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> so um i've added my blended melon and then i'm just gonna mix everything up together and then i'm adding a little bit a little bit of maggie because you know this still or this soup if you're not very careful you could not get too salty so now i'm adding my assorted meats i'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit because the um assorted meat or all my meat is already soft so i don't want it to be too too soft so i've added my stock fish as well and then i'm adding my blended crayfish yeah my grounded crayfish or whatever it's called <laughs> i'm so sorry so I'm gonna mix that up now and then I'm gonna cover it for like 10-15 um, minutes for the um, melon or egusi to get cooked before I add on my other um, meat or ingredients here. Yeah, so I'm gonna cover it up for like 15 minutes and then that's it. Cooked. You can see that the palm oil is already up <laughs> floating. So right now I'm gonna add my um I'm so sorry it's not cow skin, it's the cow feet, yeah, but it's the boneless cow feet. So I'm adding my I'm adding the <laughs> I'm adding the boneless cow feet now and then I'm gonna add my beef and my oxtail. Not my beef. I'm gonna add the cow beef. <laughs> I'm gonna add beef to it and the oxtail. I'm just gonna leave that on for like another five minutes on a low heat because I want everything to soak in the egg. Mm. 
I won't even believe why I had this episode. Hmm. I'm not gonna tell you. If you follow me on my Instagram, you're gonna see why I ate this or why I'm gonna eat with this every season or why I ate with it just in case you're watching behind or anything. Anyways, so I'm just gonna leave it on now for another five to ten minutes. It depends on your meat. So I'm just gonna leave it on. I left mine for like another five to ten minutes yeah so i'm just gonna leave that for 10 to 5 to 10 minutes and then yeah our exercise is done thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you all in my next video bye